I'm Michelle Rasky. I'm an artist from Toronto, yeah. Canada, and uh, I've been performing uh, for the past few years my solo work. I also have a band, a uh, drummer and bass player, that uh, play with me about 50% of the time, and 50% of the time I'm doing it solo. I've um, been playing guitar seriously now for about seven years or so, and performing my own stuff at uh, local clubs for the past several years. Um, I have a CD out that came out about a year and a half ago called What I Meant to Say. And uh, right now the band and I are in studio recording for a second CD to come out this fall. Uh, any working title? Uh, not a working title just yet, but uh, we have about eight tunes down, um, written and a couple uh, bed tracks already been yeah. laid down. As, as an indie uh, artist, how, how do you go about promoting your stuff? Because it, it is tough. Yeah. Uh, well, certainly um, the internet has made that a lot easier in terms of um, being able to, to access people and uh, be part of web pages, have your own web page, that kind of thing. Um, as well, just uh, collecting emails at every gig. 
uh, trying to get the word out, posters, flyers, um, you know, working with other artists and establishing contacts that way. Yeah. Now, when you do have a gig, do you announce it uh, through, uh, through your email list? Uh, yeah, I always put out an email for the shows. Yeah. And um, there's a few people that, uh, that, you know, maybe I phone as well and just try to get the word out as best as I can. Uh, have you had any, run into any problems with uh, people complaining about spam, even though... Um, I, I really try not to spam anybody. If I do, it's usually by accident, um, or occasionally I'm put on another artist's email, and I figure, well, that's fair game to send them some stuff as well. Um, but uh, there's always a disclaimer at the bottom, you know, if you've received the list in error or need to be taken off, it's no problem. Yeah. No pressure kind of promotion. <laughs> uh, what's your, any good or bad stories about the internet? Um, my experience with it's been uh, mainly through emails, and, and I have a uh, web website up with a Toronto-based group called IndieVoice.com. Um, they service pages for a number of artists in the local community, and I think they're branching uh, out a little more internationally as well now. Um, so, um, no, there's not really been any specific so problems. Good, good thing. Uh, any music online? Uh, yeah, I have um, some downloads available. Well, actually, um, I guess like on a real audio basis, uh, you can visit cdbaby.com. Um, that has some song clips as well, uh, umbrellamusic.com um, and indievoice.com. Okay, the last thing, I just need you to give a plug for Tex. Just, this oh. is Michelle and uh, a thumbs up for Tex, something like that. This is Michelle and thumbs up for Tex.